Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today on this video, I'm gonna give you the top 15 ways I think that you could be a better customer. Of course, you're always, I always encourage anyone to comment down below and let me know what your comments and thoughts are, your suggestions, things like that. If there's something on my list that I forgot that really, really bugs you, let me know. And um, I might do a part two because like I said before, there's a lot of stuff. Let's get into it. So for the first one is knowing what you want. So if you're going through a drive-thru, I don't know why I did this, but anyways. So you're going to the drive-thru and you pull up through the speaker and the person says, hi, welcome to fast food generic joint. How can I help you today? Please don't go, oh, can you give me one second? Please don't because most drive-thru places are on a timer and they get yelled at because you can't make up your mind. If you can, maybe wait a little bit more, try to look at the menu or maybe ask a friend if you're with a friend what suggestions they have. Kind of low more or less what you want, like go in there with, mm, I want a burger, but I'm not sure what customizations I can get. So that at least when you get there, they're like, hey, what can I get for you? You just say, hey, I want a burger, but what kind of toppings can I put on that? Because then it just opens the conversation, allows that person to help you make a really quick decision and they're able to get you through that line quick so that the people behind you don't start getting annoyed and then they give the poor person that is taking their order angry face because that's usually what ends up happening. They can't give you angry face or they're gonna give the person who's taking their order angry face. So try to find a way to know what you want before you get to that speaker because the moment you're a little tired, hits that speaker, the clock is starting for them. Number two, so this is another drive through one. Please speak clearly. A lot of times when I used to work at Dunkin', Starbucks, anything, I would always have to say, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? A little bit louder. I'm sorry, I still can't hear you. Speak very loudly. One, because I mean, at least for me, a lot of drive through places tend to have really bad speakers. I don't know why. The headset company doesn't wanna buy, buy them new headsets. It's usually the case, but you have to speak really loudly and not like yell at them, but just loud enough and clear. Pronunciate what you want. And please, for God's sakes, don't let the person who's sitting in the passenger side try to order their food. One time I literally watched a girl crawl over her boyfriend in the camera to just be like, yeah, can I get a Frappuccino? When he could have literally done that for her. And a lot of times I can't hear them. All I hear is, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, and then the, then the person who's driving goes, did you get that? I'm like, no, all I got was you just yelling at my, in my ear. I didn't get anything else. Do us a favor, please, and speak very clearly and please order for your passenger driver so that they're not basically sounding like the Charlie Brown teachers because we, we can't hear them. Most of the time we can't hear them. Number three, please ask for everything at once. It's very annoying and it stops us all in our tracks when you get up to the window and you're like, oh, and by the way, can I get extra packets of ketchup? Thanks, oh, oh, and thank you. And then um, can I also get um, three barbecues, um, four more straws, uh, thank, okay. Thanks, thanks. Oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then can I get a cup of ice, please? Extra ice? And then they give you the cup of ice. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I wanted a big cup. I wanted a big cup. Please don't. That is the most infuriating thing that a person could possibly do. It's very, very annoying. I understand you forget to ask for something. I've done it. But when it's multiple things all at once and that poor person is going <laughs> just for you, once again, it stops everybody else in their tracks and then that person starts to get annoyed with you because it just seems like you're doing it on purpose because you're literally asking for them for something one at a time and it's, it's just freaking annoying. Please don't do it. Number four. Number four is to have your money ready. Haha, -ha, very important thing. Please have your money ready. When you are at the register or you are pulling up, it is so annoying when someone goes, oh, one second. How, how much did you say it was? 24. This purse. Because then they start looking at another person that has nothing to do with them, but they're interested because the person is now standing closer because they probably want to order. And so they're standing closer to that person to intimidate them, which then makes that person nervous. And now all of a sudden they can't find what they're looking for. And then they go, how much did you say it was again? Um, all right, so uh, just here's a 20, and then what was the change? Oh, okay, um, so much change in here. 
sorry, sorry. And then and then they take the change and then all over the counter. And they're like, just just take it, just whatever, just take it. Give yourself a tip in it too. I mean, please don't. <laughs> Have your money ready. Makes everything pretty, pretty fast. And there's nothing more. And, and I mean, you're paying. You know you have to pay at some point. So why are you waiting until the last moment until someone says, okay, your total is $25.62 for you to go, oh, I gotta pay? Uh, okay, um, hold on one second. Jeez, I, I didn't even bring my purse in. Like, I've literally had people that bring up their stuff to the counter. And I'm just like, okay, what's your number for your account? This is that my current job, not a fast food. But I'm like, okay, what's your number for your, oh, hold on one second. I gotta go to my car and get my wallet. I'm like, did you not know you were gonna make a purchase before you, what did you come for like so yes please have your money ready number five is a very primary starbucks thing but i feel i i've also seen this at like chick-fil-a or other places where they call your name when your order is ready respond to your freaking name please pay attention like i've had people that literally i'm like okay i have a grande ice latte for a carol carol and she's literally standing right there, but she's like on her phone, just. Grande ice latte for Carol, is that me? Yeah, I, I said it two times. Well, you didn't say it loud enough. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? Please don't do that. Listen, you ordered something, so at some point within like two to three minutes, your drink's gonna be ready. So listen out for your name. Or if you literally cannot listen and be on your phone at the same time, you need to put your phone down. <laughs> because then the person's gonna put the drink right there and then somebody who has to go and doesn't really care is gonna go, thanks, and walk away with your drink. And then you're gonna come up and go, where's my drink? You see? So please respond and come get your damn crap. So number six is to speak nicely when you are asking for something. You'd probably get helped a lot faster if you weren't giving people bitch voice or high and mighty voice or entitled voice. Like when your voice reeks of entitlement, you're probably really not gonna get anywhere. And why would you really wanna be mean to the person who's preparing your food or your drink? That's not really a smart move for you. <laughs> not saying necessarily that will do something to it. I hope nobody would ever do that but i hope that nobody would ever do that but probably get your drink a lot faster and they'll be more willing to go out of their way and help you and fix whatever your it, your problem is if you just come up to them and speak to them nicely we are people too and it's not okay for a lot of the customers out there to speak to us the way you do i mean i've listened i've literally listened to people degrade someone just because i didn't put extra whip on your drink or because they don't taste any sugar and they asked for 12 pumps because they wanted a diabetes drink. Like, please don't. Number seven. So I know a lot of people might say, well, it's your job to clean the bathroom. So you shouldn't be asking us to clean the bathroom. But at the same time, there's certain things that I think another person should not pick up. Like tampon pad, dirty wads of paper that somehow didn't make it to the toilet and they were used. Miscellaneous pieces of paper that just so happened to fall down on the floor don't get me wrong i understand being in a rush and you're just using the bathroom really quick and you leave and blah 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 and like i said it is part of our job to clean the bathroom but to the point where you're like you gotta put on the gloves and the hazmat and all of a sudden <laughs> just to pick up just to clean the bathroom it's a little ridiculous and you're grown adults you're not slobs so you know number eight kind of goes hand in hand with cleaning the bathroom it's also picking up after yourself in the lobby i literally watched people leave all their trash all over the table and leave their chairs out one time i saw a spanish family do that and i was like you know what as a puerto rican slash dominican i'm like insulted right now like your mom i know damn well your mom has taught you better to push in your chair after you're done yeah like i mean like and once again i understand it's my job you know i'm gonna go anyways and pick it up and clean because i have to sanitize the tables after everybody uses it but it's really really crappy of you as a person to leave all your trash i mean i'm talking about empty cups Bunches of tissue paper, newspaper, wrappers, ah, popcorn all over the place. <laughs> and that you can't help. Popcorn you can't help. But I mean, don't eat like a slob. But yeah, so clean up after yourself, please. Number nine is please don't come in the last two minutes of us closing. And if you do, because it's okay, so much, it's not so much the fact that you're coming in late. I mean, I get it. 
were open those last two minutes and you really, really want a latte. There are some people that are starting their overnight shifts. There are some people that are leaving their jobs and just want a nice pick me up because they had a really crappy day because their boss was a freaking douche. I get it, I really do. But when you get those people that come in two minutes, five minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes and they'll get their drink. First of all, they'll usually take forever to order and then they finally order and they'll get their stuff and then they like, they set up the entire table as if they're gonna be there for two hours. And then they're just hammering away at the laptop and I mean everything. Like they're planning on actually staying there. And I've seen a few people do this that know the hours, that have known the hours because they're regulars. And I've had to go up to a lady and be like, I'm sorry, you know, we're closed right now. And she'd be like, uh -huh. I didn't realize you guys closed at eight o'clock. Is that new? And I'm like, you were here last night and the night before like things like that like please don't do that or at my current job i have people that literally run in five to two minutes and they want to start asking a bunch of questions they want to start doing a full-on shop and it's never a quick thing it's always something that takes a lot a lot of time please know that we have to get out at a certain time and that time after you leave is for us to pick up our store clean it up get it ready for the next day do our deposits make sure everybody has everything done and get the hell out and we want to go home we've worked six to eight to nine to ten sometimes twelve sometimes fourteen if you're a really dedicated manager and we want to go home just like you would want to go home at the end of your day so if you do come in please get what you need and get out and if you want to come and stay with us you totally can you're just gonna have to do it tomorrow when we're open for you know a longer day stretched out but two minutes please don't sit in our lobbies and make us have to come up to you because we're dreading it we're literally dreading it because we know we know that you know that you gotta go but you're gonna sit there and still make us come up to you and go i'm so sorry but um it's close time i'm so i'm so sorry like Please don't make us go through that. Just get your crap and get out. We love you. Just get your crap and get out. Number 10, I had a lot of people do this to me when I worked at Starbucks. They would make a huge order and they would not do it in a way that was very, very convenient for us. And then they'd be really upset when they had to wait. So like for instance, they'd order a big jug of coffee, which takes like some time to brew and then get everything together. That can take as much as 30 minutes, especially if we're busy. I would advise you to please either call ahead if you can, if you're whatever service you're trying to get, whatever fast food service you're trying to get, if they take orders over the phone, I would call them and say, listen, I have a really, really big order. I'm about to be there in like 10 minutes. Would you mind getting this order started? Is that something you guys do? If they say yes, let them know everything. Be detailed. Don't be that person once again that comes in. You're like, oh, and did you get this? And oh, oh and can you, can you, and can I get, and can I get extra things and I can I get extra oh and I want a large order of fries and no say everything you need or we have apps these days use the app to your advantage I've had lots of people who are wonderful at Starbucks and they used to order those big jugs of coffee through their app and so I knew it was coming and I had a, a great amount of time to get everything ready for them they were happy I was happy everybody was happy because nobody had to wait well we had to get all their orders ready because they would come in and do that number 11 is coupons so at Dunkin Donuts I dealt a lot with people who would give me coupons and they'd be expensive and then they'd make a really, really, really big stink about it. Most of the time that you get these coupons, you're getting them almost a month in advance. If it takes you a month to come to us, one, you probably don't even like us that much. <laughs> And two, I just, it's really upsetting. Like you have no right to come up to me and say, oh, expired, well, I still wanna use that. No, it's expired. You had a whole freaking month to use this coupon. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to let it go. You should have used it in the amount of time. That's why everything has a freaking expiration date. It's not whenever you want to use it. It has an expiration date. So respect the expiration date. Number 12 is a little thing. Little, little thing. Please don't snatch stuff from us. That's really freaking rude. Like, how would you like it if you, how would you like it if you were going to hand us something on, let's say your card or anything. And we just went, we just went. Or this whole little that that sound that sound right there that's a really disrespectful sound do not rip anything out of our hands same way we pass things to you really nicely pass things to us as well or when we go like this and you take the money and go right right past the hand like intentionally because i'm so sorry how, how can you miss this palm just just waiting just open open and ready i've gone like this sometimes to someone and literally they still went threw the money underneath my hand like 
trust me, I don't like money either, but respectfully, I open my hand to take your money and respectfully, you should put the money in my freaking hands so I can count it really quickly because sometimes trying to pick up money with these hands is very annoying and then it takes me extra time to go trying to pick up that dime. Number 13 is do not cur cuss, do not cuss at us <laughs> and do not insult us. Once again, this goes into the first thing that I said before, asking really nicely when you need something. Remember that you're talking to a human being that has feelings, emotions. They're providing a service for you. They're trying to do the best possible job that they can. Most of us, <laughs> because there are some people I've met that really don't give, okay? And you can tell. The person is really, really nice to you and they're trying really, really hard and they're just, you know, they're saying, I'm sorry, they're being really energetic, they're trying to help you. It's really crappy of you as a person to go, well, you're a bitch because you're not giving me what I'm asking for and I don't give a shit what you just said. You're still a bitch, you're miserable, and you deserve to die. <laughs> like, that's pretty far, don't you think? Over a latte or a burger or a fry, like, let's think a little bit about this, friend. <laughs> this is not okay language over food. As a society, as a country, we need to be much better at asking for what we need without insulting or, or degrading someone to get something. I don't know what it is about people that some people are just so nasty and they want something from me, but they're so nasty about it. It's just not, it's just not okay. Please don't do it because you're gonna get whatever you deserve afterwards. Cause when that person finally snaps and you see those videos like McDonald's where those McDonald's workers are like beating on the customer, you know what? A lot of times they deserve it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's just only a matter of time before one of us snaps. So. Speak very nicely when you ask for stuff. Thanks. Number 14, don't snap your fingers at us, please. Don't, that's that's really freaking annoying. This, ma'am, excuse me, am I a dog? Do you see adorable, cute little ears and a little snout? No, you do not snap. You shouldn't even snap at a dog, actually. What the hell is that, snapping at a dog? Like, you're supposed to go, hi, B, hey. He baby, you, you, you. That, that's how you get dogs attention and i'm not saying you should do that to us but it's a lot more respectful than going excuse me ma'am yes what do you want <laughs> that's what i should do to you do you like that would you like that if i snapped in your face yes what can i get for you ma'am what do you need okay what size what flavor <laughs> that's really freaking annoying right totally disrespectful don't do it it's very freaking annoying you're not <laughs> you're not in a jazz club like ma'am and finally the last one number 15 asking for a refund after you've ingested the entire item whether it be drinks food whatever please do not come up and say i did not like this it was disgusting it was the worst thing i've ever drank and I want my money back. Number one, if it was that disgusting, I don't really think you'd be able to finish the entire cup. Just saying, especially like a 24 fluid ounce drink. That's a pretty big drink. Or I've had people that drink cups like this where it's like almost like what we'd say 30 ounces, a Trenta. And they're just like, <sighs> I mean, it made me gag. <laughs> you drank it all though. like. I have a really hard time believing it was that bad. Or when people are like, the food was cold and it was just disgusting. How did you finish it though? How do you really think that you deserve a refund when you do not give me a product back? In most places, restaurants, anywhere, you take one sip, one bite, one munch, one nosh, anything, and you don't like it, you give it back. And you tell them, I'm sorry, can you remake this? I do not like the way it tastes. That's what an adult does when they do not like something. Not throw a pissy fit after they've ingested the entire product 
and then you want your money back. You only need one bite or sip to know that you do not like something. I literally one time had a lady bring me back a venti. I'm sorry, she didn't even bring me back the cup. She came to our counter and said, my venti caramel macchiato was the most disgusting thing I have ever drank. It was cold, it was bitter, and it wasn't even sweet. I mean, it was disgusting. And I was like, oh my God, where is it? I'll remake it like right now. Well, I drank it. Two. <laughs> she got two. One for her. One for her. I think it was her son. Whatever. I drank it. And I'm like, oh, wait. I'm sorry, ma'am. You finished the entire cup? Yeah. What's, why? Um. And you said you didn't like it? It was disgusting. Why are you asking all these questions? Um. You know, you could have brought it back. You're supposed to bring it back. Like, if just one drink and just sip, you know? And if you don't like it, you can, you bring it back. I didn't know that. How would I know that? Because this isn't your first time coming to fucking Starbucks, ma'am. I know damn well you know policy. But she sat there with a straight face, kept looking at me dead in the eyes and said, nope, I want my refund. Because I drank it and it was not perfect. And I said, ma'am, you are not getting your refund. You can have another drink on me. I will make you another drink, but you are not getting it. She did not want that. She wanted a refund. I didn't give it to her. She left that day very upset and said, I will never be back. And I was like, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. That is my point. How was I supposed to know? Because that's the fucking rule of food. Everybody in the world knows that if you take a bite or a sip of something, you do not enjoy it. You fucking bring it back and the person makes it right. That is the law of fast food or food in general. So, drain way off topic, but that's still something that sticks with me <laughs> till this day. And that about wraps it up. If I forgot anything, cause like I said before, I'm sure there is way more that I'm forgetting. Please leave me a comment down below, letting me know of the most important, letting me know of the most annoying things that have happened to you, things that you think that we should add to this list. It's right here, I got a list. Let me know and I think I might end up doing a part two. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.